Meanwhile, there are growing calls to reform the Monetary Policy Committee to make it more reflective of South Africa's population. This, as some economists argue that the country's economy and households are being fur further harmed by the aggressive interest rate uh, stance. What you need is, I believe, a much more representative group of people that have an in-depth knowledge of not only economics, but also the business environment and how interest rates and monetary policy impacts on employment, etc. And I've been uh, lobbying for a change to the composition of the Reserve Bank Monetary Policy Committee for quite some time. And what one should need to do here is to broaden that uh, committee to also include, for instance, the Director General of National Treasury and uh, that department's chief economist, the uh, Director General of the Department of Trade and Industry and the chief economist, and then also representatives from organizations such as um, the Development Bank of Southern Africa, the Small Business Institute, um, the South African Institute of Civil Engineering, civil engineers and engineers in general, um, also the Consulting Engineers South Africa. They deal with the work related to the cost of capital, and the cost of capital in South Africa is inhibitively high. You should also include, for instance, the Banking Association, the SA Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, bond originators in South Africa, people who have an intimate knowledge of how much pain, financial pain is suffered by people when interest rates are unnecessarily high. 